Christmas is coming and your clients are already asking you to create some kitsch 3D animations for their websites. But you don't know WebGL and you don't want to load a huge library for a stupid Christmas decoration. What if I told you it was possible to do something funny with only HTML, CSS and just a bit of math? Let me show you my Christmas ball only made with CSS. Today, I want to show you how it was made in just four minutes. Ready? Okay, let's go. First, we create a div in the HTML that will be used like a window we are looking through. On this div, we apply the perspective property to define the depth of our animation. Inside that window, we create another div to contain all the particles. This container will also control the main rotation. It is important to add the property transform style to let the browser know that its children are in 3D space. The last part we need in the HTML are the particles. In my case, I'm creating 400 spans. We define the size wanted for the, red, uh, the, size wanted for the dots, and we absolutely position them in the center of the container. The last thing we have to do is to place the particles along the ball. But before we do that, I would like to quickly explain how spherical coordinates work. Let's say I'm the center of a sphere, and I want to define the position of a point on my surface. To do so, I'll need three values. The first one is the direction around me from 0 to 360 degrees. This is theta. The second value is the inclination upward or downward from 90 degrees to minus 90 degrees. We call it phi. And finally, the third value is the distance between me and the point. This is the radius. This means that if we have those three values, we can calculate the 3D coordinates of any point in space. So let's get back to our CSS. Because the radius is the same for all the particles, we can store it into a SAS variable. We are also saving the colors needed for the demo into a SAS list. Then we start a loop from one through the amount of particles we have. For each particle, we will calculate random values for theta and phi to randomly position them along the ball. We are using the SAS random function to get a value from 0 to 360 degrees for theta. We are also using the SAS random function for phi, but with a little bit more complex function in order, in order to ensure we have a fair distribution along the ball. Now that we have our three values, radius, theta, and phi, we can use the parametric equation to get the coordinates of x, y, and z. All we have to do now is to apply those coordinates using a 3D transform and pick a random color from the SAS list. If we check the current result, there is an issue with the rotation, because as you know, in the HTML, everything is flat. So if the, during the rotation, the particles won't stay in front of the users and causing them to disappear for a moment. To fix this, we are using a, a pseudo element and apply an opposite rotation on it. If the sphere takes 25 seconds to do a full rotation, we apply an opposite 25 seconds on the pseudo element to make sure they always stay face to the screen. Because the rotation must be in a 3D space, we apply the same property transform, transform style we applied on the container. We style the pseudo element the way we want, and we set the background based on the particle's color. The final touch to make this more like Christmas is to add a second animation on the pseudo element to make them shine like fairy lights. In my case, I'm increasing the box shadow to scale them up. And there it is, a Christmas ball only made in four minutes. You can even achieve an infinity of results by only tweaking a few lines in your code. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.